morning. Oh, I wanted to bring you this story um, to friends and family. It's what I've been talking about with this Occupy Wall Street stuff. And I haven't really done any videos or anything about it. I've been, um, you know, in uh, blog TVs or whatever, chatting about this stuff or on other forums. But um, then I ran across this article and it lays it out so well. You know, everybody right now is talking about how this, oh, the Occupy Wall Street. Well, it's been infiltrated, right? Well, I never thought that from the beginning. It was infiltrated from the start. It was started by infiltrators. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, try this on for size. Um, okay, this is about the all the uh, Occupy Wall Street. Okay, uh, it's called, it's a little article called Red October. Okay, it began as a peaceful protest on the 17th day of September, the month of the autumn equinox, uh, September 21, Maybron, very special ritual day ordained by the Kabbalah, all this stuff, pagan practitioners, as the Day of Atonement and the releasing of prisoner, prisoners, both political, economic, and economic. The protests began at a specific city, which was the heart of the preeminent global ca capitalist republic, a world power center of wealth and influence unequaled in the entire world at that specific time. Sounds so far so good, right? Uh, the notion, however, had been, uh, the nation, however, had been in a great recession for three years. Factories were closed, closing their doors. Unemployment uh, had reached high levels in some sectors as high as 30 some percent. The national debt uh, to the world's central bank was crippling in every way. Inflation had successfully eroded the wages of the people by 50 percent. The future of this once great nation was uh, bleak in every way. Well, by the way, a little sidetrack. I mean, just the news out today, this big Europe plan. Oh, that's off. That's been canceled. Supposed to be the big announcement of this huge fix tomorrow. Well, that's been canceled. Uh, consumer confidence plunges like crazy. Um, the Italian government, I just seen just minutes ago, the uh, Italian government saying we're on the verge of collapse. Uh, so that's our news for today. It's really great. It's going real well for uh, Zero Domus up there in the White House. Um, anyway, back to the article. Uh, the message of the protesters was simple. One of the working people uh, were the, uh, the working people were the unwitting slaves to big business and corporate greed. A mere 1%, the ruling class, were robbing the people the remaining 99% of their wealth and property. It was not just a single day of protests, but was scheduled to last for many months. Eventually, the movement spread to every other major city in the country, as well as other foreign nations. Yeah, so far, it's, yep, that's Occupy Wall Street. Well, if you think I'm describing the 2001, uh, 2011 Occupy Wall Street, uh, you're very wrong. I am reciting the exact history of the Bolshevik Revolution, Red October, that eventually dismantled the Russian Republic of Tsar Nicholas. According to Wikipedia, a nationwide crisis had developed in Russia, affecting social, economic, and, business, and political relations, disorder in industry and transport had intensified. The, build, the difficulties in obtaining provisions had increased. Gross industrial production in 1917 had decreased by over 36% from what it had been in 1916. Yeah, we just saw our, well, at least consumer confidence. They were actually expecting a, a, a pop-up from like 46 to 50 or something. Yeah, it dropped all the way down to like 35 or something. That's what we got for consumer confidence, uh, for whatever that means. Yeah, it doesn't really mean much. It's just another poll. Um. Russia's national debt in October 1917 had reached 50 billion rubles. Well, of course, it compares to nothing today. We now have a 100% debt to GDP ratio. And that's if you can say that we have a 15 trillion GDP anymore, which I don't think anybody can claim that. 15 trillion GDP of what? Anyway, yeah, um, kind of interesting how this whole thing, it, it basically follows the exact 
same thing that went on in the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. Uh, that was started up by, as we know now, was started up by infiltrators. You know, they call themselves the uh, uh, the Young Turks, and they were they were Zionists. They were Zionist troublemakers. Um, so you know, when when people today, I'm just going to cut this short. I'll leave you the the rest of the article. It's it goes on quite a ways further. But as everybody says now, well, the Occupy Wall Street movement, it's, well, it's been infiltrated. I've been saying, well, they started it from the beginning. It was infiltrated from the start. Uh, because people on here, you know, me and others were saying, well, look at these riots overseas, all these protests and stuff. when they were started overseas, and they're coming here next. So, yeah, they started them. So that's my argument to the... Uh, well, Occupy Wall Street's been infiltrated. It always, it always has been infiltrated. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And um, thanks for listening. Have a good day.